idea of the time that we met it was developed by Jim Waite in 1951 while working for Newmont. So he uh, thought that you can put a DC current and then turn off the current and measure the transients. Early 60s, Newmont developed an instrument which he tried in Cyprus. Uh, Bill Dolan and George McLaughlin were the two guys at Newmont that developed this instrument and uh, they took some measurements. It was quite an interesting instrument. They used 100 car batteries as a, as a power source to put a lot of current in the ground. And they had the general electric switch, the mercury switch, so uh, with the wire and mercury, so we turned the switch around and made contact. And when we made contact, it uh, sparkled around. So I remember the guy who was running that, he used to make the sign of the cross and turn the switch. <laughs> Anyway, the whole wire is to ground, jump off the ground because the interaction of the Earth's magnetic field, the Earth's magnetic field made an eerie sound. They didn't know what to do with the data. So I was hired specifically to work for interpreting the data. That was my reason for hiring. That was my theoretical background. Myself and Maury Davidson was the other person hired. So Maury Davidson, myself, George McLaughlin and Bill Dolan, we developed the instrumentation, the theory, and everything else, how to interpret it. We also hired Colin Barnett uh, that came and he did a lot of the programming for the, uh, like the programming and field testing of the system. So develop a new system, completely new system, portable system, and with all the theoretical background, how to, uh, uh, how to interpret the data. That's when I developed the smoke ring theory. When the society uh, turned 50, they published uh, special issue with the 25 most significant papers in the, the last decade and that paper was one of the chosen one for that. So it was, uh, again, demand let me publish it, which was again very nice about it. The time domain technique got its biggest boost at, um, after they applied it at Aurora Deposit in Australia. Aurora Deposit is a, a peanut shape vertical deposit over uh, buried 100 meters under highly conductive regolith, highly conductive over border. And no electrical method, even knowing that it's there, could even get a hint of it, absolutely none. They tried everything. My professor used to say that if you know what is there, you can always see it in the data. Well, they couldn't see it in the data, absolutely. They tried IP, EM, or every, every technique. Finally, they tried time domain, and time domain showed it beautifully showed it beautifully. And now time domain EM and IP, two techniques by the by new one, are the most uh, ubiquitous techniques in geophysical exploration, which is quite a lot to say about the company.